Welcome to MacLord Games. Hey, what is up, guys? MacLord Games here today, coming at you with a bit of a deck profile. Uh, this is for Magispector Speedroid. So I was just curious, of, you know, how it would be like if you make a, you know, Magispector Synchro deck. And I was thinking of ways to do it, but there didn't seem anything to be efficiently except speedroid. So I threw some speedroid tech in. So let's get right into it. We have two Pilika, uh, Descendant of the Gusto. This is just basically to get back your tuner monsters to be able to continuously synchro with them. Um, two speedroid Menko for attack negation and just putting your, mo your opponent's monsters into defense. Just a little bit of protection. Um, speedroid Red Eye Dice for level modulation um, three speedroid tactum board just because everything you're gonna have in the deck is a wind monster and you can just special summon it and then get a speedroid tuner from the deck um, three speedroid terror top you can use it to search out your tactum board to make your synchro plays or you can search out your main coat if you feel like you need a little bit of protection and then one try eyed dice this has attack negation which is useful but on top of that is a a tuner that is best used with Kalika. Um, three Magispector Cats, one of the main searchers. It can search in any Magispector card. So you want to have her at three. Uh, we are running two Crow. Uh, this is the one that searches out the spell. Uh, two Fox searches out the traps. And three Raccoon searches out the Magispector monsters. The reason why we only have two Crow and two Fox is just because we only have three targets. For them to grab all together so you don't really need to maximize on these ones but these can search into monsters well uh, raccoon and the cat can be used to search into the monsters we are running two chicken game uh one magispector cyclone three mst two terraforming three upstart goblin one bottomless trap hole one compulse two magispector tornado one ring of destruction one Solemn Warning, and one Torrential Tribute. So the only changes that I would make to the main deck right now from what I'm feeling is maybe drop one of the Terraformings for another chicken game. But as of right now, just having two searchers for two cards. I mean, if you get it in your hand, it's cool. If not, you know, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. But chicken game, you can draw cards, you can destroy it, or your opponent can gain a 1,000 life points, giving you the advantage of being able to not take damage with chicken game. So it's actually really useful in the deck because a lot of the monsters don't have enough attack points. Like all the actual monsters themselves don't really have a sizable amount of attack points. Like the strongest monster in the deck is Fox at 1500 as far as main deck attack. So chicken game, you know, you, if you have lower life points, if they battle them, you don't take any damage. So it's really useful. But they do get to use its effect to draw cards, which is kind of a downside. But you have the tornadoes to banish their monsters or you have the cyclone to destroy monsters that they have I'm not running tempest because tempest is when a monster activates its effect or they um, or the monster itself would uh, like if they would special summon a monster but it only works on inherent summons and with nowadays a lot of cards being summoned by effects, Magispector Tempest is not the strongest card to play except in like mirror matches. So Tempest, I would end up putting Tempest on the side deck and swapping out Tornadoes like in the mirror match against Magispectors. But for the extra deck we are running Clearwing Synchro Dragon, Degustos Freeze, High Speed Roid Chanbara, High Speed Roid Kendama, One Mistworm, one old entity Hastor, one Stardust Dragon, and one Trishul of the Ice Barrier. For XEs, we have Castell, Gagaga Samurai, Ghost Trick Alucard, Levier of the Sea Dragon, Lightning Chidori, Number 101, and Diamond Crab King. So, this deck has just crazy synergy. All the main deck monsters are wind attribute monsters. The only one thing, the only one card that I found out so far. That really does hurt this deck is if you're going up against somebody who is playing something like Zombie World. Zombie World just just hurts. Now, one card that does kill this deck 
There is a spell card that kills the deck, but I'm not going to reveal it. Haha. -ha. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky like that. But Zombie World does hurt the deck from being able to use the Tornadoes or the Cyclones. But everything else can be used equally just fine. So, if you like this deck, go ahead and leave a like in the comment section. Well, leave a like, yes, definitely leave a like, but leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the actual deck, and I will see you guys later.